What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer 1.5.2 And I'm gonna go ahead and get right on into it. Thank you for being here And I'll just leave it at that. So let's Think about what we want to do with this run. Uh, we did a magic one last time though I guess it ended up being a little mixed, but the It was for the most part magic. So I think this time it could be a uh a cool idea to do a physical base build. I don't think I'm going to stick to the shield. I, uh, uh, here's my thoughts on this shield. Uh, I used to say, and I was like a very, um, very like, uh, hard headed about this. I would say that it was like a too very, uh, defensive, but not very offensive, way too slow skull to build with. I didn't like using it for that reason. Um, and I was completely wrong. The shield skull is just as offensive as any other skull, really. It just, it is definitely on the slower side, but it's not a defensive, um, exclusively defensive skull, like I said. But my new thoughts on the the shield skull that are holding me back from playing it a lot now are that it's it's way, 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 way too good. And I always knew the shield skull was good. Um, I thought it was like a very beginner friendly uh, skull to get your first win with. And I still think that's true. I just, I, I didn't realize how much 1.4 had changed this skull. Uh, Cause I didn't even really play it even back then when the when the reformations came out for it because I, I was just so, um, I was just so, I don't know, soured on the, on the shield skull experience. But now that I played it in my, the video that's up on this channel, it just kind of made me realize, like, this is just an extremely overpowered skull. It's just so, um... Like, it, it's still a, def a defensive behemoth, but it's all, like, it's not exclusively a defensive behemoth. It's, it's very hard to lose with this skull on pretty much any build. Like, I would be shocked uh, if I could, if I, like, trying even a little bit, if I could lose with the shield skull. And that's kind of how I feel about it, which is kind of why I don't want to use it. On this run but i also could be wrong this is all like guesses on my part just because of how playing it in the last video felt which makes me a little wary to try it out again anytime soon though maybe this could be the video i don't know you know uh we don't really know how this is going to unfold obviously skull the hero slayer kind of uh, throws you in whatever direction it feels like but i did get some um some requests in the comment section of the last video for a run that someone wanted me to try out and also i have a hunter run that i've been requested to do so i think i'll be uh, keeping my eye out for those things um we could try a freeze build we don't have one on the channel could be interesting freeze is more of a magic based thing than a physical but you can take it in either direction really um no there's nothing stopping you take some artifact do I sell for this for this for the abyssal virus to get artifact two going here? I guess. Uh, we're, that means we're very powerful for the uh, for the point of the game we're at. We have forty five percent magic attack just right here out of the uh, out of the gate here. Um, artifact is very powerful, but I've already done two runs of artifact on this channel. I haven't done it since it was buffed in 1.5.2, but it still makes me not want to, um, to do it again. I think I'll pivot another direction, uh, as we move along here, but for now this will work. This will be, a, a decent thing I can do. So let's try not to let him ult. There we go. That was close. The shield skull, uh, I don't know how, like how much we're going to stick to a uh, a magic build here but the shield skull certainly is not capable of utilizing magic uh let's take this i think i will uh, yeah i'll upgrade the shield here just because like i i always like to say uh it's basically free to upgrade a common to uh to you a, a rare i'm trying to say because it costs 10 uh, skull fragments and you get 11 for breaking them so you don't lose anything by doing this so i don't see why i wouldn't also i, I could have skipped some of these enemies here but i do want the money so I, uh, it's fine I'll, I'll fight them if uh, i'm keeping little bone a little bit here just to see if i can get on a build path uh 
that sends me in the direction that the person who requested the, the skull, uh, like the the build, I'm trying to say that it, that lets me go that way. But I, it, it's going to be hard because um, uh, you need very specific items to make skull builds work, and uh, obviously it's a little hard to get exactly what you need. Uh, I'll actually take this. I'll take that over um, over this. I don't know if I'm going to stick the Joker, but we'll hold on to it for now. Oh, there's Hunter. Whoo, okay. Uh, well, thankfully, we got a rare before we came in here because we pretty much broke even with our Skull Shards here. I th actually, no, we technically gained one off of uh, upgrading our shield. So, yeah, I'm going to take this. Um, this is for the person who asked for it. I hope you're still watching. Uh, I appreciate my people watching this, so thank you. And this is for you. I can also still try and do the other build, though. I can do both. I can juggle both. Um, I'll do a refresh. Oh, shit. Well, now I wish I had bought the, um, the Carleon Insignia I saw. Hmm. Well, I can sell this, right? Because I do want this glowstone. I'm a big fan of glowstone. Obviously, we need another treasure to really make it work. But uh, we'll try and get it. Uh, we're, getting, we're going to take an item room here instead of a money room. Very uh, light on the slow shards, Act 1 we've been in so far. It's uh, not being too kind in that regard. Uh, but obviously, the run is still young. There's plenty of time to make up for lost slow shards here. Even though we're still not being offered them. I kind of want to also try and make a Brawl run where I've literally never used it. I've never used Brawl 4. Doesn't really seem that good, but I still want to try it. Uh, this is not the ability I want. I need to swap abilities if I get the opportunity on this Hunter. I'm not a fan of this uh, this at all, if it's what I think it is. Uh, if this is the one where like the arrows rain down on the enemies and at for its fourth attack then yeah i i do not like this i think it's the weakest uh hunter ability so i want to swap off of this god dude we didn't get offered oh we did get offered this though okay is it going to be anything cool that's pretty cool <laughs> sure i'll take it but uh, this is a dangerous room uh very dangerous especially early if you don't have a lot of items it can absolutely um a fuckload to you and we are kind of flubbing it up here a little bit it's kind of awkward okay well i guess we're not doing too awful bad we could be doing a lot worse like like literally as soon as i said that it showed just how much worse it can get uh, we don't have very good skulls for this um but we're fine I, we're out of here didn't take that much especially in act one this is nothing if this was an act four it would be a lot more dangerous and i would be a lot less happy with the result there let's uh go fight yggdrasil who is just in our way he uh he he insists on getting in our way it's an unfortunate part of yggdrasil it's kind of his job hey how's it going buddy yeah yep yeah. You, you're a little upset, I can tell. Um, it's not my fault, though. You shouldn't take it out on me. I didn't do anything. Um, please don't give me Elder Inns gratitude, dog. Like, please. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, relax, okay? You know, you, there's so many other... Like, if you're really that, that grateful that I helped you, like, give me, like, I don't know, like, Prism or whatever that item's called. The item that's, like, the swap item. That's a really sick item. I would, I, that would be, like, the most... Gracious thing you could do. Even like unknown seed would be kind of cool. You can give me that. Oh, okay. That's actually not too bad. We're on a, a hunter build, so we can actually make use of the projectiles. But they, I think they nerfed this item in 1.5. I think it used to be 50%, and now it's only 40%. It seems... Especially... Oh, wait. Is this amplific? Yeah, okay. It's amplification. Okay, so no, they buffed it. They buffed the fuck out of it. Amplification, I actually learned in the... In the time between the last episode and this episode, that it's like a multiplicative thing instead of like, whereas increase is just kind of additional. Amplification is multiplicative, so very powerful. Um, not to be uh, underestimated. In fact, it's like kind of insane that they put it on so many different things. Uh, I'll try and make it work. How much will this do? 
Let's uh, just try and keep our distance here and see if it makes it a little easier. It didn't seem like it was, but it also helps with my skull toss, so there's that. Okay, that's the halfling. I thought it was the uh, Misty, the furry NPC, but nope. Whatever the, her name is, Misty Furry Convention. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, but uh, we need to. Hopefully, we find her soon, and she gives me a good buff. At this point in Skull the Hero Slayer, I don't really, um, I don't really think she can give you anything bad. Like even if she gives you like the opposite uh, damage of what you're focusing, like that can not. I, that can actually not be too awful bad. Like, there's so many different ways to utilize mixed damage now in Skull. Like, I think my video yesterday with the... Uh, I uploaded a little moment from it to, as, a, like, a short clip. I think that exemplifies more than anything what I'm talking about. Hmm, we're not being offered shit in terms of, uh... In terms of shards here. I still kind of want to go down a freeze route. What does this have on it? Nothing useful for me. Hmm. I mean, that has heirloom on it, but I'm not stoked for that. Let's just keep going. Okay, I'm not buying Thieves Armor. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard not to. Oh my god, look. I'm buying it. <laughs> I'm relying on it. I'm relying on it too much. What am I going to do? It's just how it is, guys. What can I say? It's perfect for the run. You have to understand. You have to understand. <laughs> we're, we're on a, a, a archer build here. We're on a hunter build. It's perfect for a hunter. In fact, it's like an enabling item. See? See? It makes sense for me to buy it. I'm not over-relying on it. It just it makes sense for, for, the, uh, for the run. I have to buy it. It makes sense. You can't blame me, man. Like, it's so good. It's just so good. And the thing is, it's not, like, overpowered, like, Gunpowder Sword. It's just good. That's why I like it so much. <laughs> but, uh, see, I, I do over-rely on it. Ugh. I feel dirty, but I, it just makes sense for a Hunter run. Like, it, Hunter has a really hard time dealing with crowds. And, oh, this is where I can pivot off of this skill, which I'm definitely going to do. Um... I really, really uh, want to um, get something else here. Literally uh, anything else. Perfect. I'll take it. It's just, it's literally, that's like the only skill I don't like on Hunter, really. Especially since they uh, fixed, um, what's it called? Uh, the shot that just kind of pierces forwards and deals a bunch of in a, damage in a straight line. They fixed that one, and that was like the odd one out before. And now I feel like uh, the one I just uh, swapped off of is kind of the odd one out. It's way too inaccurate, and it's like its legendary upgrade is just kind of worse than its um than its unique upgrade. I, I do not get it. I, do, I don't get what they're trying to go for with that. Uh, let's see if we yeah. Let's skip this uh, area here. You don't get to do it too often. I know I'm missing out on money. Actually, no. I'll go back, but I just like showing it off. It's fun. If you if you like uh. I want to get into speedrunning, you kind of have to learn how to do these skips, and um, they're not really hard, and they're a little harder when you're actually on the speedrun, though, because um, you kind of have to do it with, with the werewolf and its ability hunt, and it's a lot slimmer of a window to do it, but it's still fun. I, I just, come on, dude, they're all commons. This might have to be a little bone run just on the principle of, like, like not being offered any... Um, any skull shards here? Like I'm, I'm kind of getting fucked over. Uh oh, she hit me. I, I did not see her shoot that shot. Uh, these are these are actually kind of fairly annoying. Um, two very uh, like synergistic uh, heroes together, but we we did we dealt with them. Please, please, please. Okay, he ulted. It's my fault for not standing further away because of my damage amplification. To be honest. That probably would have actually stopped them. Wow, they give me a lot of HP. Please give me... Okay, that's at least something. Well, we don't have those inscriptions. So I'll, I'll, I'll definitely take this. I, I need to take the opportunity to take the shards. Maybe we'll be offered a natural legendary. And then I can uh, swap off of Lil Bone. I do love Lil Bone, though. 
I don't need to swap off him. Okay, so we literally got it immediately back. Yeah, god damn it. Okay, so if I'm offered another uh, skill swap NPC, I'll try and pivot off of it again. Though at least we have one good skill, but god, that skill sucks. It's so bad. It, it's literally better at rare than it is at unique, and especially legendary. <laughs> it's actually a fairly okay skill at unique. It's so I do not understand their um, their design process and um, and taking this skill from unique to legendary. It's so weird. Thank God we picked up um, thieves armor though. We'd be struggling a lot harder right now if we hadn't. Fuck! It sucks to rely on it so much, but oh, here's a skip I can do. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I fucked it up. But if you have a little bone here, you can um, kind of like uh, head toss your way through the hallway and get past the barrier where they all spawn in. Kaboom! Kaboom! There it is! There it is! We'll take it. This is a rare opportunity. Finally, we got to use uh, our buddy we've been passing up on so many times. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Kaboom Skeleton Bomber, but it needs to have Kaboom on it to be good. If it doesn't, it sucks. It's just bad. So... Very happy to see it. Uh, shit. I'll get rid of this. Because we're... Oh, actually, that was stupid. Kaboom. Oh, God. I have to mix this run now. Well, I just got rid of a really good item for that, unfortunately. This is... Uh, obviously, I'm now a big fan of Invisible Knife. We literally brought it on the last run, but I'll bring it here, too. Because I, I love this item now. After seeing what it can do. I think I have to get off of Fighter's Belt, though. Which... Oh god, oh no, that's so... What a disaster. I'm not using Fighter's Belt. I was so excited to use it too. Oh well. I don't like the item, if you can tell. And now we're getting uh, extra money. So, very worth it to uh, have bought the... Uh, what is this called? Gold Incense Burner. Which I'm a big fan of. I like the HP it gives you. I, I got two... Um, Two treasure items I'm a fan of, so very happy to see that. I'm definitely not going to take Golden Sword if I see it. Um, for one, we, I think we're on so tight of a run that I can't really do a um, a treasure four run. Or actually, I might have to. Mm, I don't know because I'm really behind on skull shards, and that's a good way to catch up. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Did I pass up a skull room to take a money room? I could have swore we were meant to be in a skull room there. That would be very stupid of me if I did. Let's use a Skeleton Bomber here. Uh, the damage will fall off eventually, but for now, Skeleton Bomber is just like a tactical nuke whenever uh, we decide to swap into it. Uh, we need to uh, build into a magic direction here. I'll take Fulgent Dawn if I have the chance to on this run. Um, I know, but uh, we're on a mixed run now. We definitely need the uh, the extra support, though. Obviously, I'm I'm Hex and I get the ring in every episode, so maybe we'll just maybe we'll just find our good pal the ring and get it, and it will do some mixed uh, heavy lifting for me. That is a uh, a wink and a nod to the game to help me out a little bit here. You know, you, you could uh, you could certainly push me in, uh, in the right direction. You know. I would be very... And it would have treasure on it, too. Oh, man. That would be so sick, game. Come on. Come on, game. Come on. You know what's going on. Come on. Okay. Boom! Yes. I love Skeleton Bomber with Kaboom. Uh, I did have a successful run recently with um with Mini Bombs and Risky Upgrade, though. That was a fun run. Uh, you can make Skeleton Bomber work, especially because um, it's now a bit of a fire-based skull. So if you're on a... Uh, burn inscription run you can use it and it has natural burn on it but i still think it's um awkward to use uh without kaboom on it it's certainly the premier ability for this skull god we're so far behind on skull shards dude it's insane how far behind i am and i picked up skeleton bomber too so that's like even more skull shards i have to make up now if i want to get it to legendary we need to start finding some good skull shard rooms or treasure i think i'll actually push for the treasure for here a little bit and by a little bit i mean a lot of a bit <laughs> hopefully i'm offered some um 
some treasure items in the upcoming shops. This is going to be a good run to um, hopefully show people that because I I think um, Hunter gets a really bad reputation in the community for being bad when it's it's now I'm not saying it's incredible but it's not bad it, people are like it needs um, like a gunpowder sword to work and I, I disagree I think Hunter works just fine as any other school does there's only one school in the game I've said this a million times I hate repeating myself or I guess I don't mind repeating myself, but I'm sure people get tired of hearing it. But um, the only skull in the game right now that is like in a non-functioning state is Yaksha. Literally, that's it. In any other skull that you like, you can build with just fine. And I'm not saying Hunter is a top tier skull, but you don't need to just play top tier skulls. You can play literally any skull you want and get very uh, consistent victories. You just... Uh, Except Yaksha. I don't know what the devs are thinking with Yaksha. They, I don't think they like it very much. Let's actually save our Kaboom there. We'll get another easy uh, chance to use it. That was like a rare opportunity where see, uh, going to the timer was just made sense. And that was a very easy lay on, sisters. God, I wish I hadn't sold my um, fucking, what's it called? The, the artifact staff thing that gives 50%. Uh, attack damage. Oh. Well, we're not on an arson run. Uh, I, for some reason, I thought I had Elementalist Blessings, but I think I was just thinking of the common spirit I had at the start. And for some reason, my brain was like, yeah, bro, you got Elementalist Blessing, dog. It's sick, man. This run's so cool. Uh, we're, this run actually is not so cool so far. This is a little, uh, little kind of bad vibes. I'm getting really fucked here with the skull rooms. I do not know why. Okay, let's uh, kaboom this. Okay, please don't. Ah, uh, okay, we're good. Hunter's doing a good job, though. Hunter is definitely pulling its weight. Um, I will defend it pretty, uh, pretty ardently, you know? I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, and this is, you know... Because the person who requested it said they got all of their achievements with it. Like, I, people who don't know the meta of Skull probably have way more fun than people who do know the meta of Skull. Because, like, they're not like, oh, I have to play this or that. And I have to, you know, get the best items to win. And, and I can only win with the greatest items of all time. Like, people are just, like, giga chatting. And, like, it's like, yeah, I'm on a Yaksha um, Grim Reaper run. Uh, I, I got, like, you know, magic and physical going at the same time. It, it, life is good. And also, we're in 1.4 of Skull, not 1.5, so it's even crazier that this run is existing. Those people are having the most fun with this game. Okay, let's look for treasure. That's not treasure. That is a Hunter's Longbow, though. And we are on a Misfortune run here, and this has Misfortune and Strike on it. This is absolutely worth taking. I'll get rid of this because we're very clearly not going down a freeze route. This is one of the items the person wanted me to build the uh, little bone run with, but unfortunately, we're not on that run. Mmm, we got offered no treasure. This is not looking good. The earlier I get this treasure, the better off I'll be. And we still need two items to really, um... That was a really bad use of uh, Skeleton Bomber. We still need two items to really uh, make this work. Uh, the treasure run, that is. So, And that's two items I have to slot in here. And things are kind of tight. I guess I'll get rid of this. You, oh, God, jeez. Execute's okay, I guess. I don't know. It's really, really difficult here. I need a way to um, uh, boost the skeleton bomber's uh, power. I need the ring, man. Give me the ring, game. It's not that hard, man. Come on. Come on, you, you you like doing it. You do it all the time. Give me the ring. It's my favorite item in 1.5, or one of them at least. I think my favorite, ac my actual favorite item is the prism, but hey, you know. We'll uh, hopefully get offered that on a video soon. Uh, I've only seen it the one time, or maybe, no, I saw it one other time, but I couldn't take it. The, it was not the run for it. I really want to use it on another video, though. I love that item. It's so fun. 
Ooh, okay, that was stupid. Uh, this ability fucking sucks. Uh, there it is in action, just so you understand exactly why I hate it. Uh, it at least, okay, so at Legendary, you don't have to charge your, um, your attack to get that effect. It just happens, which is certainly at least usable. Ugh, God, it's so bad, though. Like, I just don't understand why it gets worse the more you level it. Like, the best, the time when that skill is the best is at rare. Or actually, no, at unique here, at unique. Because uh, if you don't charge your attack, it uh, it still does this effect, which is way, way better than any of the other stuff. I don't, I don't know. I don't get what they're thinking with that. We're actually starting to get a little bit of skull shards here, but it's really too little too late. Um... We're very far behind. Like the game's like trying to make up for uh, for the bad RNG it's been giving me, but it's like, man, you kind of already fucked me over, you know. If you if you wanted to be kind, you should have been kind like forever ago. Okay. Oh fuck. Ah hell shit. I was I thought my ability was gonna recharge before then. Oh fuck, that was the wrong one. Oh, but it worked out. It worked out. Kaboom. Oh, she teleported. As you can see, um, the kaboom damage has already kind of started to fall off against enemies that have decent HP because we just aren't built into a magic attack yet. This is my problem with bomber, by the way. You're you're just kind of running around like a chicken with with its head cut off until you're able to. Um... Oh, actually, let's stop her. Ah, you ah, jeez. Okay, this, at least we're not. The fight's still going well, it's just I hate her ult, it's so annoying. I really hope that uh, the mage doesn't show up in the um, the fourth adventure again. I keep getting her. <laughs> she kind of uh, is annoying. Well, I mean, we're not on an heirloom run anymore. I'll just take the shards, but uh, we're still very far behind. We're at 40 here. Normally, I would be like close to getting one of these to legendary and that is risky upgrade that is actually usable let's use it we can use it to uh to stockpile up a kaboom in between rooms and this is like a, a good example of like uh, i haven't talked about this in a little bit so this might be some new information to some of you um if you pause the game in between rooms and i mean like you know like like pause like this uh, it actually freezes timers, and uh, if you have like a uh, risky upgrade or kaboom or something, and like especially with a skeleton bomber, if you if you're charging up one of your abilities, normally if you don't pause the game in between the rooms, ooh, in between the I don't think I can slot this in. I don't think I can afford it. It would be good with skeleton bomber, but at the same time, I don't think it it's enough. I don't think it's enough to put me in a direction that favors the rest of my build it's certainly not good on the hunter so i'm gonna leave it um fuck what was i saying oh my god what's going on that's good <laughs> um this is like really good insurance for the run overall and and voodoo doll no longer disappears from your inventory when you when you uh when you lose it forever you or like when you used to lose it forever i should say I just don't know what to slot out of the run in place of that. I guess this is only 30%, actually. Let's get rid of that. It's not doing too much for me. Um, let me try and... Fuck, what was I talking about before I got Omega distracted? Bro, I don't remember, dog. I'm, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I remember. Um, uh, the timer's in between rooms. Uh, if you don't pause it, and you're transitioning and you're on skeleton bomber like uh, the timer will still tick and when you load into the next room you will uh, explode instantly and not be able to actually use it so uh, with skeleton bomber if you swap the skeleton bomber and like use risky upgrade we'll do it here or actually no we won't if you use it like if you use risky upgrade to um to upgrade your bomb in between rooms and then you pause and then come back you can actually make instant use of it it's a little cheesy but um hey you know the game is what it is i'll do it here or actually, I'll just go ahead and explode here so I don't let these guys summon their golem. But um, we'll use it in another room. Okay, actually, I'm offered the chance to once more try and get rid of this fucking ability. 
There we go. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. We have a, a crowd ability, and we also have a stationary shot again, which I'm a big fan of, so. Uh... Even though I w there's one ability I would much prefer over, um, what is this one called again? A, a piercing shot? But it's fine. Everything's fine. We're good. That could be good. Uh, actually, no, it couldn't. I've never used this, bro. I I'll try to <laughs> make use of this one day. It's not the run for it. God damn it. Are you serious? What is this? I already pivoted off of the fucking... Oh, that's so... I'll do it, though. <laughs> I'm complaining, but I'll do it because I'm offered two um, two things here that I, that can help me in that direction. This is like a very weird mixed run, huh? Guess I'm going to swap off of the treasure route. I'll take both of these. These are two very good... Um... Oh, and Kyrian, bro? What is going on, bro? I don't think Kyrian's that good on this run. It's useless on Skeleton Bomber. Okay, I'm not going to go that hard into it. Uh, I have one... Wait, okay, what does what this refresh cost? Okay, so I have one speed skull here, so this is a... But it does have Misfortune. I, oh, we already have Misfortune 4. Okay, never mind. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, things are looking up. Things are looking up all of a sudden. Um, yeah. I think I'll temporarily drop this. Oh, we don't have enough for the effect to prop. What do I get rid of permanently then? Abyssal virus? Do we have... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. No. Okay, so we do have artifact. Okay, this is fine. I'll get. I'll absolutely get rid of this. There we go. Good shop. What an insane shop. Oh my god. We went from like underpowered, kind of worried about uh, the safety of the run, to omega overpowered. Now I just need skull shards. Is that a skull shard NPC? Please, 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 please. Oh, it's her. Okay. It's the furry NPC. We found her. Hey, Mrs. Furry. Uh, been any good conventions lately? Not trying to make fun of furries, by the way. It's 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 all in good fun. I don't like, you know, I don't care. If you're a furry, uh, live life, brother. Live, laugh, love. Um, oh, yeah. As you can see, we're starting to get the, uh, the score, the pyro effects, um, on our swaps here with our skeleton bomber so th so things are starting to really uh I, I i've had it for a while by the way i literally just noticed it for the first time okay what do we get here that is perfectly good that is oh what is our crit rate actually 40 percent. that is very good and we're gonna have even a better crit rate once we get the legendary sniper things are looking up baby the run is starting to gain, gain some interesting uh some interesting strategies with it what is this glow around me? What is that? Misfortune? Maybe? What does Misfortune 4 do? Okay. That is definitely what that is. Interesting. Ah, uh, a little bit of lag. Don't know what happened there. Oh my god. Look at her skull shards going into fucking Chimera. This is awful. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> well, I don't think we're getting two legendaries. If I, uh, you know, to say the least, I don't think it's happening. God, the run has just been very stingy. I don't think I've ever seen a run this stingy on, uh, on Skull Shards. Though I did also make the decision to swap off of any potential, um, I should have waited a little bit longer on that. I did uh, swap off the, the treasure potential to make up for the lost skull shards, but I mean, I saw the opportunity to take Glacier Breaker and I took it. And I regret nothing. It's a fun item. Sometimes you gotta have fun in Skull of the Hero Slayer. And we're doing good. We're doing good. Our run is actually really strong thanks to the Pot of Greed we picked up. I wonder if I can risky upgrade this. Let's try and. Um, you can only do it three times, I think, so. Okay, that's two. Risky upgrade three. Here it comes. And boom, baby. Didn't do that much. <laughs> Still fun, though. We'll just kaboom it now, though. I love kaboom. Oh, it's so good, dude. 
Big fan of Bomber with the Boom. I can't say it enough. Oh, there's our... Finally, we get a Quintessence here. Not a super... Actually, that's a fairly good one, I suppose. Uh, we can stand in it when we're uh, concentrating. Which will give us a little bit of extra defense, which is useful. Can't complain. The only thing I have to complain about so far in this run is Skull Shards, but I also don't really care all that much. Even though it's annoying. Oh, God, it's really annoying. Why am I... In <laughs> it's all money rooms, man. At least I have... My item pool is decent, but like, bro. I need Skull Shards, dog. Let's just boom that guy. Get him out of here. He's very annoying if you don't deal with him quickly. Uh, if only I had a legendary uh, hunter here. But as you can see, a uh, unique hunter is doing just fine. Which is why I don't get why people uh, don't like this skill, uh, skull so much. Obviously, Thieves' Armor is doing a lot too, though. But, I mean, it's not... Like, Hunter is certainly uh, being utilized for how uniquely, uh, how uniquely uh, useful it is. Like, no other skull could be doing what we're doing right now. Like, that's, that's kind of how I, I view um, skulls in this game, is like, a skull has to has to have a niche and do it well and that's why i say that yaksha is not functional it has a niche and it does it horribly and it, it does it in a way where like if you're playing yaksha any other skull you could have would be a better option whereas that's not the case with um with our good pal hunter here uh mummy is the only other skull that comes close to doing what hunter does but they do what they they each do what they do very differently from the other also, good lord, I uh, don't know where that uh, loss of frames came from. Hopefully it doesn't persist and become an issue. Okay, I hate these. Uh, this this is like one of my least favorite segments in the game, and I don't know why. I just don't like um, fighting these statues. And there's it's like there's so few of them, I don't even get why they're there. Uh, God damn it. Haven't been offered a legendary or any of the skull NPCs. Even one of them could uh, turn around our skull issues here, our skull shard issues, and make the uh, run way better and easier for me. Old totem coming into play. Um, I kind of wish I had used it over here though. This is a way more annoying segment though. We knocked both of them off. Wow. God, I'm. I am ashamed that I picked up um, Thieves' Armor, but at the same time, the run would not be where it is right now without it. It's not my fault they made it such a good item. But I will never turn on Thieves' Armor in the way I've turned on um, on Gunpowder Sword. They're 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 similarly functioning in their uh, effects, but one of them is just out of control, and the other one is strong, but like, you know, not on a point that makes it stupid oh my god okay this is like the halfling npc who won't go away i talk about this sometimes sometimes she like when you need her she'll never show up but other times like when you don't need her she just can't fucking stay away she can't she's like the the stay the fuck away challenge impossible difficulty 99 percent of halflings fail this she she just does not want to stay away and i don't like using her until after the adventure or fight so i'm not going to use her here either even though she's probably just going to give me the um, the usual like bare minimum healing, uh, it's still more useful to me after the adventure fight than it is uh, right now. Please, kaboom! Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was close. Let's try and kill this guy from a distance. Okay, wow. Um, he somehow lived. I don't know how. Okay, at least we have enough to upgrade one of our skulls here. Uh, we don't have a legendary. I mean, we don't have a, a, a power skull. What am I looking for? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess nothing. I, I, I just kind of mindlessly refreshing. Uh, I would take Hidden Blade 4 if I could somehow get offered a convenient items 
to, for it to, please don't be the halfling, by the way. Oh, I will die if it's the halfling. We need more. Uh, but Hidden Blade 4 with a, with a magic knife uh, is never to be underestimated again. Like, ever, ever, ever. If you saw the uh, clip I uploaded to my channel. The short, which you should go watch. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing more of those. Um, Just little easy, easy consumable things for people to get interested. Thank God, finally. Thank God it's not the halfling. It's finally the harpy. Though what I really want is the uh, the big the big skeleton guy, so I can um, maybe get offered a, a legendary or a unique from that. Though she gives you more shards than a unique, so I guess seeing her and the only way that NPC is better than her is um, if he offers a legendary, which obviously it's really rare. But I still want to find him because we need all the shards we can get. Uh, we're f we're fine. We don't need that. We'll finally be able to get our free legendary from our pot of greed here coming up. I'm just shocked that I didn't already have enough uh, items to enough legendary items to already get that once I picked it up initially. Oh my god! I'm fucking lag out my ass all of a sudden out of nowhere. Uh, I might pause the recording and restart it. I don't know. I, sometimes that actually really helps. I might actually start doing that more often because it's only like a quick cut for you guys, but it kind of helps the overall health of the uh, recording. We'll see though. After the adventure, who uh, I sincerely hope is not the warrior. That is literally. I will take the mage because I can hit her very easily. I just don't want the warrior. That's literally it literally it please game don't give me him okay that's perfect uh he's a wimp he has like extremely low hp we're gonna we're gonna shatter him to pieces the only issue i foresee here is um potentially um like concentration kind of fucking me a little bit though so, i mean yeah, we're obliterating him. Uh, please don't ult. If he doesn't ult here, I have like a super... Okay, he ulted. Hopefully he can... Uh... Ah, shit. The risky upgrade exploded. I don't know why it did. I guess maybe you get one less charge with it at unique than legendary. We would have had an Omega easy kill if he hadn't uh, ex uh, ulted there. We can probably kill him here. Yes, sir. Oh, and he gave me so much HP. Thanks, dog. What a what a pal. What a friend. This could be good. Could be very good, actually. But it's kind of hard to slot it in here. We're on a very tight uh, build here. This could go. This could certainly go. But I need the skull shard, so I'll take this. I'm going to be very upset if... Uh, I end up not getting just barely enough to upgrade my uh, skeleton bomber, dude. That would be so whack. Finally, though, we have the legendary hunter. Big upgrade. Uh, it now has insane crit. Uh, what is it exactly? Um, based on the distance from the enemy, crit rate goes up by fifty percent. Oh shit! And that's a that's a main of the beast king here. Hmm. It doesn't synergize with my... Ah, eh, this isn't as good as I thought at first. Unfortunate, but, um... Well, the main of the Beast King is a very weird item. I've made use of it before, but I think it's pretty niche. Uh, very weird, uh... But, um, on the right run, it's obviously really good. If you need a lot of easy-to-get crits, that's a good way to use main of the Beast King. I'm definitely doing the Dunkan Knights here. It might be a mistake, but, um... This is going to be very hard. Uh, there, This is no pushover in Act 4, Part 2. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, they spawned two of... Uh... They spawned two of these fuckers. Okay, actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Because we still have to uh, stop this one over here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, I, I... Okay, this is not good. Uh, oh 
Holy shit, what a disaster. We lost so much HP. Yeah, they're fucked. They're fucking dead. Oh my god, that was awful. I got ex absolutely dunked on by those explosions. That That's like run-killing shit, too. Uh, though it would trigger this, so we would be okay. At least in the short term. But I don't want to trigger my voodoo doll yet. <laughs> god, that was awful. They are very hard to, uh, to save in Act 4 Part 2, so... I expected it to be hard, I just didn't expect to take as much damage as I did. Oh well, we're fine though. Everything's fine. Oh, we actually knocked him off the side, but he's still summoned regardless. I would really like one of those fountains. Please, game, if you would be so kind. Also, the halfling, uh, hello. You show up a good jillion billion times, but now you're not going to show up? Typical halfling. I think she secretly hates you and wants you to die. Okay, we finally got there. That's perfect. That's 100 charges exactly. Okay. It only took the whole run, but at least we made it. I won't complain. We're there. So what's my other artifact? Oh, it's this. Okay. We can't get rid of that. I can get rid of this. I don't think that's too much of a hit to the run. But I, I don't think it's worth it for that item. This, however, this could be good. Okay, never mind. It doesn't have inscriptions on it. Veiled Mask. Ooh, this is a Veiled Mask run if I've ever seen one. Uh, do I have even close to enough to be able to buy this? Uh. Ah, uh, nah. What's the inscriptions again? Strike is okay, but... Deh. I don't know. Veiled Mask is weird. Uh, you can certainly use it on Hunter, though, for sure. Very effectively. It's like one of the only skulls that can use it without too much downside. I would have to sell two items to get it. I don't think that's a good idea. Or one Legendary. I could sell this, technically. But it makes magic and it makes invisible knife worse. Fuck it. Fuck it. I just why am I even considering it? I think Veld Mask is just bad. <laughs> Could be wrong. Uh I would like to get it a little earlier in a uh, hunter run and really uh, work around its downside more. And, and like build specifically around trying to make Veld Mask work. But uh just getting it like in one of the last shops while my I'm already on like a Magic knife based high critical percentage run just seems like a not good idea. This magical knife is a really good fun item, and I'm I'm I, I'm glad I have it on this run. Um, very interesting way to just kind of like increase your damage even a little bit, even if you're not focusing the damage type. Like if you're not focusing magic damage type, it's still just a good item. Thankfully, we have a fountain here to make up for all the damage we took against those fucking Dankon Knight defenseless, overconfident bastards. They like, rely on you, and then they're like, oh yeah, man, we're so sick, we're the Dankon Knights, man, look at us. It's like, shut up. If you want me to save you, show up earlier, okay? When you don't have like five fucking war tank or bomb guys coming at me, and I have to stop them all at the same time. Like, you... It's just, you're asking for too much, man. Oh, wait, he, why was he facing this way? Oh. Okay, we took... God, that was very stupid damage to take. Uh, okay, there is a spear coming. Wait, we, we don't have Kaboom? Okay, well, I guess we'll just stand here and wait. We're starting to deal decent damage with our... Um, with our Kaboom, which is always a good thing. Okay, we need to deal with this guy now. What a stupid room to take a bunch of damage in. I'm so upset. Just for no reason to. Because I, I I don't know how he was facing the direction. Like, I, I figured he would be attacking in the other direction. And that's why I was so uh, confident uh, concentrating against him. But no. I probably should take some item rooms. I mean, some money rooms. Because uh, I'm probably going to have to heal in Act 5 shop. But, uh... Eh. 
if the halfling shows up, which I don't think she is, I think this is the last room and she's not going to show up at, as usual. Uh, she showed up like four or five times, but when you need her, she's nowhere to be seen. Thanks a lot, halfling. Uh, you're the best. Shoutouts. XOXO. Oh, hey, that was sick. I wasn't even planning to do that. Okay, no, we can still get her. We can still technically get her. Copium. She can still show up. Uh, I love Mana Generator, but this is not the run for it. I think this is going to be my kit. Voodoo Doll is really out of place, but um, I guess it's nice to have the insurance, because this is kind of a weird run. At the end of the day, this run is a little bit wonky. Can we get out of here before this wave spawns in? Nope. I think you can actually skip this wave if you're quick enough. But um, we uh, didn't realize until too late that uh, we could run out of the room. And no heaven. What are you going to do? The thing I'm really grateful for is the 100 bone shards. We can upgrade our bomber here to legendary. Like, ultimately, that's what I'm the most grateful for. I'm glad that we got to use it on this run. Let's see what we can do in Joan fight. Should be very simple. Uh, we have two really good skulls here for this fight. Um, I just have to be careful in the first phase of the fight. This is gonna be that's gonna be the really uh, the really hard one. Why I I don't get why I have a freeze on this run. By the way, I just like I at first I was trying to build towards it. Like that's the thing that is weird about this run is the freeze. Um, but I mean, if you see Glacier Breaker and also Frost Witch Staff next to each other in the same shop, you you're kind of obligated to uh to build in that direction after that. Let's go over here, actually. It's kind of scary to stand over here because she can summon the walls of uh, of light that will... If, you, if you're standing there when she spawns it, it deals so much damage to you, so you have to be very cautious. Like, if you're... Try not to stand in the middle as much as possible, but I'll do it there just to try and maximize my damage a little bit. Let's risky upgrade this. We haven't used it that much. Once more. And kaboom. Oh, yeah. I love Bomber. There we go. Oh, man, this run is strong. And no Gunpowder Sword. Just saying. And we don't even have that much damage. Not compared to, like, some people who uh, build high damage runs. Um, Like, uh, my thoughts on uh, the damage you need to r successfully, consistently beat the game is you need about 300% damage. Uh... To beat the first hero easily and consistently after that everything's pretty much overkill not that overkill isn't fun overkill run like just getting ridiculous damage is obviously sick as fuck um but it's not necessary uh i would say that the the real uh important items on a hunter run obviously gunpowder sword like crit items that synergize really well with crit uh are items you're going to want on uh, to make a um, a hunter run work. And let's just kaboom here before she runs away and then I miss it entirely. Don't get too greedy. Also, the lag. Could you not do that? Kaboom. We got her. Dude, the kaboom with the hunter uh, swap is actually really good. Kind of shocking, because I, I, in the past I've complained about the uh, the Hunter Legendary uh, Arrow Rain Swap thing. Okay, let's not get hit by a bunch of fucking Dark Orbs. Haha! -ha! It's really good against Joan, that's for damn sure. Aw, oh, man, I hate when she goes over here. Also, I need to stop being stupid. Falling in the pit is just... Stupid damage that is completely unnecessary. And she's dead. God, dude, this run's good. We should not have any issues against the first hero because we have so much um, insurance. Ah. Ooh. I'm a big fan of Archbishop Scriptures. I don't know what to get rid of, though. There's really nothing I can get rid of. That's the real issue. We're on a very tight run here. Could get rid of this. What does that put me at here? 
lose 50%. So it actually pretty significantly drops my physical damage. And for what? Like a beam of light that deals damage occasionally? That's not worth it. We'll move on with our axe and toe. And finally upgrade our bomber here to legendary. Legendary bomber is so awesome. Uh, it just gets bigger. The bomb is bigger now, but it's a lot deadlier. Okay, here's a good uh, opportunity to pause the game and show off what I'm talking about. Uh, we would have exploded if I hadn't done that. But now we can do this and actually get the explosion to do stuff. So yeah, that's like the kind of stuff that you have to think about when you're playing with Bomber. Ha ha! Oh, dude, the explosion is so good now. It's so fun. This run really ended up just coming together in a way I didn't expect it to. Now this is an item I could take. Over what is the question? This? Actually, yes. Perfect. See ya. We lose instant damage in the short term, but in the long term, this uh, synergizes more with our run. It's more fun. Also, uh, real quick, I gotta do the thing. You guys know how it is. Uh, screenshot. Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? Do I have to fast forward? I will press it one more time. There we go. Okay, that's not too bad. I won't fast forward that. Heal up here, and yeah, this is our kit. Uh, these two items are the odd ones out. I will do a proper freeze run eventually, I promise. Uh, this is not really a proper freeze run. It's just kind of here on the side. Doing small things, but nothing nothing crazy. Yeah. Interesting run. Uh, it's not over, though. I shouldn't be talking like it is. But I'm feeling pretty good. We do have a slower attack speed for these last two rooms, though. It'll make uh, getting through them a little awkward. But the 30% HP was worth it. Look how slow it is, though. Thank God that doesn't last to the first hero. That would be debilitating. That would be run ending. It's only for this last room here. Haha! -ha, that did not do as much as I was hoping it would. Let's get the fuck out of there. I love um, doing run requests, by the way. I never feel uh, like shy to request a run. I'll do my best to make it happen. Obviously, you know, I, there are limits. Like uh, if, if you're requesting a run every video, I'll just get backed up and backed up and I won't be able to do all of them. But uh, occasionally, just like drop one and I'll do my best to make it work. Uh, this is for the person who did the hunter request. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is at least somewhat kind of how you expect a, a hunter, bun, hunter run to be built in your mind. Very high crit percent. Uh, banking off of, like, you know, this and this. And also, uh, this is a good crit item, and this is a good crit item, and obviously the rest of it, this is a good crit item. The rest of it's just kind of gravy. This is just here for shits and giggles. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Uh, spoiler alert, it should go pretty well. Okay. Uh, it, the only way this goes badly is if I play badly. So, it's all on me. I'm at, I, it, like, there's so much cushion for me to make mistakes here. Like, like I, I'm just kind of, like, throwing it out there that it could go badly. But it really, honestly, kind of, like, it, it, it the odds of this going south are so low. Especially with a risky upgrade here. Ha-ha! Okay, that did not do as much as I was thinking it would. Hit him with our stationary shot here. And we have Kaboom again. Okay, but that missed, though. That's unfortunate. Go in the air, sir. Thank you. Oh, and you have it again. I think risky risky upgrade is just not worth it. We should just, like, from now on... Okay, how did that hit me so many times? Okay, missed again. I guess it has very, um, very precise hitbox. But, um... We shouldn't use Risky Upgrade, I don't think. We should just swap, swap and use Kaboom as much as possible. The cooldown on it is apparently very low. We can use Risky Upgrade here, though. One more for the road. What? Oh. What is this? What does the ability say? Okay, I see. It's chance of failure. I, I actually never knew that was an aspect of it. Boo! That's lame. Let me be overpowered with no consequences. Come on, dog. But yeah, we're shredding him. Um, this is just... 
I, I mean, look at what's going to happen here. Uh, I have the damage amplification. He's going to get shredded. There we go. I mean, that's a fair amount of HP to deal to him just in the first half. Haha! -ha! God, I love doing that. It's so fun, dude. Kaboom is so sick. Okay, well, he, uh, he's a little smart. A little bit of a crafty fellow. Okay, we can uh, risky upgrade here. Boom! Hit him with one of these. Dude, he's getting obliterated. Uh, he's going to put us in the hell cage here in a second. If I'm going to risky upgrade, I should always just risky upgrade next to him. Uh, that was unfortunate. If he had just been on the ground there. Kaboom. Dude, it's almost like exactly perfect with um, the swap cooldown. Like, it, it's pretty much constant kaboom up time, which is kind of insane. I, I actually didn't know that was the case. Okay, I'm playing a little badly here. Let's not lose our life unnecessarily. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I'm probably going to lose my life unnecessarily. Maybe not. Uh, I played a little badly there at the end, but who cares? The run is still ridiculous. And we actually, we're not going to lose our life because we have the voodoo doll, but we should also try and keep the voodoo doll intact too. Though I guess this could be a good opportunity to screenshot the, uh, the broken voodoo doll. You know what? Actually, I will lose my life on purpose here. Thank you, sir. Um... Let's go ahead and do that. I'm trying to help the guy who's trying to uh, revive the wiki to get items. And it's going to be a little hard to see that again in the future. So we'll just go ahead and... Uh, oh, he grabbed me, but it, he got fucked because of uh, my swap. That's funny. Get uh, fucked, bozo, RP. And what do I do here to break the uh, windscreen? Obviously, we use Skeleton Bomber. To... Oh, okay. That was close. Let's do this. Did that work? I don't think it worked. That's okay. That's a decent one screen. We have the trap here floating in the air. We got some arrows raining down. It's not quite what I wanted. I wanted the nuke to be in the screen, but we'll take it. So if you didn't know, that's a broken voodoo doll. Uh, I should have actually maybe talked about what it does a little bit, but I wasn't really thinking about it. GG's. What a fun, interesting run. Minus this stuff. Ah, man. I really wish we could have gone maybe a little further into the freeze direction on this run because uh like very rarely do you see this item and it's always fun to make use of it when you see it but uh eh, it, it is what it is uh we had to build in like a uh very crit focused way because obviously we're the hunter the hunter is good at crits that's what it does hopefully this uh convinces some people if you see this video that um hunter is not completely reliant on gunpowder sword we obliterated this run we were very powerful uh you don't need a omega powerful item effects like that to win obviously thieves armor is very powerful uh i do use it way too much but god it, okay for one i love it it's one of my favorite items in the game but also it was perfect on this run <laughs> and i am a little ashamed i'm not gonna i'm gonna you know, cop to that, but I do stand by taking it. I think it made the run way better than it would have been without it. And uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Uh, old Totem, uh, decent at least. Uh, it, was, I, it wasn't really offered any other quints, except I saw like Troll, which would have been okay. But uh, we don't even need it because our crit percent was already so high. Every other crit was basically, every other attack I mean was basically a crit, so... None of it mattered. Uh, Old Totem did things. <laughs> it did some things, at least. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. You're the most dedicated viewers. So watching our videos is not something that is to be taken lightly. And I do appreciate it. So, And hopefully the person who requested Hunter is still a viewer and they're still watching and they see this video because uh, this was for you, man. Uh, hope you liked it. And I'll see you again in the next one.